Hey everybody, this is Dr. Chris Nelson here and I wanted to give you a cool little look behind the scenes on a pretty neat case that I recently completed and it is behind me over here so let's slide over and take a look at something pretty cool. Okay, so there's there's the teeth right there and if we look at this, this is the preoperative condition of the teeth. So if you'll see here, things look a little bit different than you might imagine. Um, and if you're looking really closely, you'll notice that this patient is congenitally missing these lateral incisors. So over the years, these canines have moved into the place of the lateral incisors. And as such, the teeth, the arrangement of them is a little bit different. So we talked with this patient, we did our normal new patient consultation where we, uh, we go through and and go through all the things. This is what I think we should do. Here's a couple different options. And we kind of landed on two different options. One was orthodontics and implants. Uh, they didn't want to do that. So the next thing we talked about is either composite veneers or traditional veneers or crowns. Um, in this particular case, the patient had seen some of my prior work with composite bonding, which you can find on our social media and our website. Uh, most of it's on Instagram. Composite bonding is a really great conservative way to change the shape of the teeth without uh, drilling away a lot of tooth. It's more of an additive process. Now, not everyone is a candidate for that, but in this particular case, I entertained the idea of doing composite bonding. So we did a uh, we did some pre-planning, and then I'll show you what we ended up with. So let's take a look. Here's the preoperative condition. And this is where we ended, and it was uh, really, really fun to do this. I, I love this sort of thing. It's kind of like playing in the sandbox. So we get to dramatically change the shape and the arrangement of the teeth, and um, we also brighten them. We uh, added some composite. So if you look this and this, see how these teeth are tapered, um, and they were a little bit long. So I uh, leveled these with some disking and then added composite, this composite and that composite, that is composite bonding to change the angle of the teeth. And then I also um, added composite to the canines to make them look a little bit more like a lateral, a lateral incisor. So here's the before. And then if you look at those canines, the after, we changed their shape one more time, the before and the after. It's a pretty dramatic shift. The next step uh, would be to consider adding a tooth over here. Although uh, in order to do that, that space is a little bit narrower than I would have liked uh, to add an implant. So we'd actually have to do orthodontics to shift the teeth out of the way and then um, add a tooth there. But if you look in the, in the, in the pre-op over here, that tooth also, I changed the shape of that one quite substantially just with composite bonding and there was a, uh, some stain up towards the gum line and we got rid of that too. So anyways, I thought you would like seeing some artwork. One of our core values is success in the sandbox and what that means to me is basically uh, the ability to play in the profession with the patient's goals in mind but also find high levels of success in that uh, state of play. And you know, um, every job should be fun. I think dentistry is fun, it's creative, and when approached properly, patients can be really happy. Uh, this particular case, we didn't use any anesthetic to achieve that result. Uh, it was a couple hour visit, but no anesthetic, and we were able to take breaks during the procedure. So anyways, if you're, if you're interested in something like that, like reach out to us. Um, we, we only get patients from um, referrals from other patients or uh, referrals from other doctors. So uh, if you have, you know, if you're like, hey, that looks pretty cool, like let us know and uh, maybe you can uh, join our family by being our patient. But otherwise, you get a little behind the scenes on composite bonding. And if you want to know any more about that, like uh, leave a comment below the video and um, I'll read those and reply and maybe make a follow up video going into more detail. Okay, hope you have a great day.